Okay, hello again. Hey, uh, listen, um, I'm getting very little feedback uh, from anybody who may have viewed the teachings that we have up on YouTube. And uh, actually, so far, no feedback. I would like to hear from you what you think. And then not only that, but also that you're encouraging others to check out our site at uh, Fire of Love Books. I'll put it in the search engine on YouTube. It'll take you right to all these great teachings that we have here. And then there's, uh, I figured if, if anything will get feedback, it's probably the Sing Along with Elvis. But in the meantime, uh, before I closed, I was wanting to share something with you, but it's just as well because I didn't want to distract from the depth of that teaching that I just gave. But I do want to put in a little plug uh, for one of my books, I've got a lot. If you go to fireoflovebooksllc.com, you'll get my website. And you'll see that I've authored 16 different books, both secular and contemporary Christian. Well, one of my books that I have out is very reasonably priced. It's an e-book. The reason it's an e-book is it's not a real large book. It doesn't have an enormous number of pages. But what it is, is 21st Century Psalms Edition 1, Volume 1. I have so many psalms that the Lord's given me through the years that I plan on putting out a lot more volumes and a lot more editions. I plan on putting seven volumes of each of the editions out. Now this particular one contains 15 beautiful psalms in it, five of which are about Christmas. And as we have Christmas time coming, I'm going to share one of them with you just to give you an idea of how beautiful they are and then also I, one of them is my classic uh, psalms called uh, Santa Claus is a Christian I went to a store that I used to shop at and get Christmas cards one time and I found they no longer had Christmas cards available they had cards with uh, Frosty the Snowman Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer they had uh, smokestacks with snow on the ground, had people in bobsleds. They didn't have anything about Christmas. They didn't have anything about Jesus. No manger picture, no nothing regarding what Christmas is about. But they had a lot of pictures of Santa Claus. So the thought occurred to me, so the world wants to push Christmas as the birthday of Santa Claus. And then I asked the Holy Spirit if I could write a a psalm about that. I said, uh, what the world needs to know is the truth about Santa Claus. Santa Claus is a Christian. And he gave me the words of this really neat poem. It's a fun poem and it's called Santa Claus is a Christian. In the meantime, let me share with you briefly. Uh, it's kind of long, but not real long. But it's, it's a beautiful psalm that the Holy Spirit gave me. And it's one of my five Christmas psalms. And it's called A Plea to Save Christmas. In case you haven't noticed it, Christmas has been teetering on the edge the way that a lot of businesses have been operating. They're, they're so godless. No one is supposed to know about the birth of Jesus. They're supposed to know about the birth of Santa Claus and the Frosty the Snowman. So this is called A Plea to Save Christmas. And it goes like this. Presents neatly wrapped up sit beneath the Christmas tree. Sounds of children laughing full of happiness and glee. Mistletoe is hanging from the ceiling fan above, a hidden ambush waiting for the one I love. All the earth seems peaceful. Christmas carols fill the air. From inside many hearts aglow, God hears a silent prayer. Father, thank you for Christmas. Victory over sin and death it brings. Because you sent your son to save me. My heart with hope and joy now sings. All the world is bitter, filled with darkness and despair, except for Christmas season, when love is everywhere. This poem comes from memory of days when I was young. Today there is much sorrow, as joy seems on the run. Today, instead of Jesus, people wait for Santa's sleigh. How few hearts really care to know 
the meaning of Christmas Day. Is the meaning of Christmas fading? Is it just another day? No Merry Christmas greeting, no nativity display. We are told that in the last days, the hearts of many will wax cold. Is Christmas just a memory kept alive in the feeble and the old? Where is your heart this Christmas? Have you let Satan steal your joy away? Is the true meaning of Christmas alive and well within your heart to stay? Where are Christian warriors, I ask and I pray? Those caring about lost souls can help save Christmas Day. Don't sit in apathetic silence. Kick Satan in his rear. Now they tell the gospel story. Let the lost and lonely hear. Unto us was born a Savior. The price of sin he did pay. We know God's love and mercy because of Christmas Day. Let this plea of this song go out to those both far and near. Keep the birth of Christ our Savior, the season of hope, love, joy, and cheer. Thank you. Now we'll see what we can do about giving you a good laugh as Joe does some sing-alongs with Elvis. <laughs> <laughs>